guys, before we start, this video is sponsored by my only. Okay, I'm trying to stay monetized. You know YouTube, they don't like me very much, so if you check out my description, I should have my X or my Twitter linked, and you can check out my only. If you go through there, okay, I can't link it here because, um, you know, I've tried that and they like strike my channel and stuff. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I have some good content. I also do some ASMR stuff over there and it's a good time. So, thank you everybody who has supported me over there and on my Patreon. And I'm gonna do Patreon shout outs at the end of this video, okay? So, anyways, I thought that tonight. I could talk about my life, okay? I don't know if I'm allowed to say that word <laughs> without getting demonetized, but whatever. Um, and you know, since being single, I've been single now for seven months. I think eight months now, okay? Since February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October. Yeah, we're going on eight months. That's freaking crazy. <laughs> single and taking care of myself and exploring myself and it's been great I honestly if you watched my last video I, I talked about it a lot and I am honestly very happy right now with my life but um, yeah one of the things that I kind of have now had the chance to do is explore myself actually that was a big reason I wanted to be single right my ex and I he's the only guy I had ever had sex with so, I wanted to explore that outside of the relationship. You know, I'm 27 and I'm a horny little mofo, okay? So, um, I will say something that I had to educate myself on was safe sex because being in a relationship, I didn't have to worry too much about it. Um, you know, since I was only having, you know, intercourse with one person, so I remember I had to learn about prep and doxy pep and you know I bought condoms for the first time <laughs> and um you know I've had a handful of sexual partners now since being single and it's honestly been very enjoyable for me um I think as long as I have that peace of mind and that mental clarity that like I'm safe I'm knowledgeable I'm protecting myself like I feel good about it I wasn't very smart at first, I think one of the first guys I did end up, like, sleeping with, um, you know, we had unprotected sex, I, I wasn't on prep or anything, we didn't use a condom, and I was, like, panicking the next day because I, I needed to get tested, and I think my prep was, like, on the way or something, and I hadn't started it. And I didn't communicate that to him. I don't know, maybe I was embarrassed or something. And it was stupid of me, right? Um, so, yeah, luckily I was good. I got tested and, like, we were safe. And I guess you could say I'm still friendly with that guy. But, you know, um, we haven't really spent much time together since. <laughs> Simply just, like, a one-and-done thing, I guess. Um, I don't know. I don't think the chemistry was, like, insanely strong. It was enough to where we wanted to fuck each other, okay? So, yeah, I did see him recently. I went to my first circuit party, which it was a lot, okay? I made a whole story time about that on my side channel, which is called Tyson Steven. If you guys aren't subscribed over there, I've been making a lot of content over there, so go check it out. But that was an experience, but um, the dude... He's like a go-go dancer and stuff, and like, he's, he's a cute guy, um, and yeah, I saw him there, and that I hadn't seen him in months, like, seven months, six months, I don't know <laughs> when the last time I saw him was, but I saw him there, and you know, we were friendly with each other, and it was fine, but it's crazy, you realize how everybody knows each other, it seems like everybody has fucked each other, and it's just weird to me, I don't know, like, the gay community is just, like, next level, okay, and not always in a good way, so, it is what it is, but, 
yeah, I guess my next situation after that was I met someone who was kind of a friends with benefits situation, and I still have a lot of love for this person. We are still friends. However, they have moved on from me, and they now have a man who's not as cute, but I'm happy for them. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Um, but yeah, me and this dude were pretty much like friends with benefits, and then it, it kind of evolved into like we were casually dating, and you know, feelings did get involved, I think, on both parts, and I just knew I didn't want that. I was so newly single, I, I knew that I would be hindering my progress of being alone and learning to live on my own if I were to jump into a relationship again. It was so hard because I have so much love for this person, right? We even had videos on my OF, okay? And it sucked because it got to a point where he wanted them all deleted and people were like, where's the videos? You had so many good videos, whatever. And I was like, I know I'm sorry, but I respect people's privacy and I know it's all lot to be on OF, you know, and maybe it'd be weird to have those videos live on as, as he moves on with, you know, someone else, and I, I get it, you know, so, yeah, that was, like, a lot of fun for me, we had amazing chemistry, and he was just a beautiful person inside and out, I thought he was so attractive, and we had so much fun, he, he slept over all the time, we would like watch shows together and get food and work out together and you know um i really do love him um but sadly things just played out differently i think than we expected and it was my choice i know i want to stay single i'm like i'm not done hoeing around okay <laughs> That situation lasted like months, and um, I don't know, maybe I let him on, but I was always honest from the start of where I was at, what I wanted, and whatever. So it was definitely tough, and we recently hung out and like got food and talked, and he updated me on the guy he's dating, and like it, it's all great, and I'm so happy for them. So, anyways. Um, and then I think, like, you know, while me and that guy were still kind of hanging out a lot, there is, um, this guy who goes to my gym, okay, and I had seen him a few times and I thought he was cute, and, um, like, had a nice body, whatever, and we ended up connecting on Grinder, like, a couple months after, you know, I had initially, like, seen him at the gym, you know, we had never talked or anything, and it's funny, I've actually been banned off of Grindr, um, I think, like, three times, I guess people report my account as fake or something, and I don't think there's a way to verify your account on Grindr, I've even reached out to, like, the support team, and they can't help me, and it just sucks, so I just can't use Grindr anymore, because I used to use it fairly often, I guess. But anyways, before I was banned, me and this guy connected, and I think that same night, I went over to his place, and I was like, you know what, I gotta have chemistry before I really do anything with anyone. I, I like to have at least like a baseline connection, whatever. And I know not everybody's like that, so I feel kind of weird being like that, but you know, it's like I'm, I'm very much like an energy person. I like to get a feel for before anything else happens, right? So, he was like, okay, yeah, that makes sense, whatever. And so I went over there not planning to do literally anything. And of course, as soon as I walk in the door, him and his partner, who I had also seen at the gym, they're just like in their underwear, and the lights are like all dim, and I'm like, what's going on here? <laughs> and um, yeah, we were just talking. They had like crumble cookies, and I, we were like eating them and talking. Sorry, someone outside just started their car. I went to the bathroom. I came out, and they're canoodling on the couch, okay? And I was like, what do I do? <laughs> so I joined. Things escalated. And we all... Okay. They both...
that so funny? <laughs> and I will say, his partner's ding dong was the biggest I have to this day experienced. It was a lot. Um, he was great with it, but it was a lot. Okay. I don't know. I, I think I have a shallow hole. And I think I have a shallow throat because I cannot suck. Okay, like, I gag. I've practiced. I have a freaking... A prosthetic ding-dong, I'll call it. That I sometimes practice on, okay? Because I'm like, how am I going to be a gay man and not be good at sucking? So, sometimes I practice and I just... I don't know, dude. My throat is just not built for that shit. Okay, she's shallow and she is sensitive, okay? <laughs> so, um... Yeah. Also, people always ask if I am a top or a bottom, right? And I've answered this question. I've always considered myself purse. I guess for what I usually do, you could say I am a purse bottom because I have more experience bottoming. My is amazing and people always want to f me, okay? So, I don't make the rules. That's just what happens. But I also got a nice ding dong. It just seems like a lot of people don't want me to. They want to do me, right? I love trying to stay monetized. It's such a fun game, okay? <laughs> um, and so, yeah, then there was another time where his partner was gone, and I went back over, and me and him, like, had fun for a while. And that was the last time we really did anything. But, yeah, that was that whole situation. And, um, oh, God, I don't want to, like, names of all of them. I'm also going to try really hard to like keep things anonymous and private, but um, that same guy, one of his really good friends, me and him connected, <laughs> that guy, the friend, is probably the guy I have spent the most time doing intimate acts. seen him in like a month he came over and we had a wee bit of fun may I say and um I don't know I think we have the most intense sexual chemistry for some reason me and that guy and I don't know he just drives me crazy sometimes <laughs> like I swear like when people can like dirty talk like, it, my mind, like, I can't stop thinking about it, like, I literally had a hard time sleeping that night knowing he was coming over the next day, and, like, I couldn't think straight, literally, and it's crazy, and, like, I don't want to sound like an addict, but, um, yeah, when you get really turned on and excited, like, and you're expecting something with someone to happen. Like, it's hard not to just think about it <laughs> until it actually happens. And then you just, after it's done, you feel satisfied for a while. I'm good. Like, I can go back to being a celibate little virgin Mary. Okay, so yeah, like, I will, I joke about being celibate, whatever, but, um, I really did go through, like, a one to two month period of, like, I didn't do anything. I didn't social. I didn't hang out with anyone, I just stayed home, and I recently broke that celibate moment, I went and hung out with a guy who seemed super chill, did not think things were gonna get sexual, and guess what happened, we were just hanging out by his pool, he leaned in, we started making out, things got, um, spicy, <laughs> and, um, yeah, we made out for a while, but he was, like, he had a really nice chest, okay, so I was, like, feeling it. <laughs> I'm a whore for a nice chest, okay? And so, um, I was, like, feeling his chest. I was, like, your titties are so nice, like, whatever. <laughs> and then he was, like, come on. And he, like, went inside. I was, like, where are we going? And he 
was like, I'm gonna show you the titties. <laughs> Oh, 
you.